Hi boys and girls, it's Wednesday. Today's story is No Plain Pets. Words are by Mark Ian Barash and the pictures are by Henrik Drescher. It's time for a pet I told mom last night. She raised up one eyebrow and said, were. All right. But mom, I went on, I don't want one that's plain, so dumb, puff, or fluff, with a parakeet brain. No, I want a pet that can start conversations and get the attention of some TV stations. A big black gorilla, he wouldn't be rude, except sometimes when eating his food. Electric eels are not really so slimy. I'd wear rubber gloves so that mine couldn't fry me. Flying fish don't just blow bubbles and stare. They flap all their fins and soar off through the air. When the moon's a white lamp and the sky's bright and starry, me and my camel would go on a safari. Our freezer's just perfect for penguins galore. One ice bath twice daily, then hot tea at four. Lizards, mmm, are just plain themselves. Up on the roof, they never bite humans. They don't. I've got proof. A jungle snake hugs you from every direction. It's just a snake's way of showing affection. And don't be surprised if I say hippopotamus. Despite what you're thinking, he won't ask a lot of us. Boys and girls, I'm just thinking. These are crazy pets. I don't know. Would your mom and dad let you have anything that he's mentioned so far? Hmm, my parents would not have let us have this. A goat would clean up after me every day. Lego blocks, dirty socks, green clumps of clay. A bat's a good bet. They're so creepy and scary. I'd have to put signs up to warn the tooth fairy. Most bullfrogs just croak. What a joke. <laughs> Mine would sing and burple and gurgle and jump through a ring. Oh, what about a thing that sings lullabies under the bed and moves with six legs sticking out of its head that gobbles cold cereal, rhubarb, and rubber, whose one part is skinny and the other part blubber? But mom, the main thing isn't really what kind? The main things, I'll love him as long as he is mine. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed No Plain Pets.